Hey YouTube, this is Michigan Ambush Outdoors. Just giving you guys a product review on the Onyx Hunt Premium GPS chips. Uh, this is the one that you can put into a, a Garmin GPS or, or plug into your computer. They also have apps that you can buy. I think they're like 30 bucks annually a year and you can kind of have the same um, same features and functions that uh, you kind of get with the GPS. Um, so today I just want to kind of cover uh, a couple things with you guys. Uh, show you guys what this looks like on a GPS. Talk about how it looks on the app. And then kind of talk about their website. Usability of that website. And then ultimately just give you guys my opinion on if this is something that I think is worth the purchase because it is pretty expensive it's a it's hundred dollars to get this chip if you depending on where you get it from i know onyx is, on their website is trying to charge 129 i got this from cabela's for for 99 bucks um i did buy a garmin chip that is a competitor of onyx maps i actually returned that chip i feel onyx is a much more superior product Today I was out squirrel hunting. It was my first time testing this product, so I just wanted to give you guys my opinion on it. So I'll kind of just diving into it. So here I have my Garmin uh, 64ST GPS, and I already have the Onyx micro SD card plugged into the back. As you can see here, I have uh, color-coded land markings or color-coded property boundaries, I should say. White is private land, blue is public huntable land. So, some things I don't like about this. Uh, I don't like how cluttered my GPS gets. This is a very small screen, it's not very big. Um, when you start putting in all the landowner names, it, as you can see, it gets pretty filled up. Uh, when you zoom in, it's not so much of an issue, but I would like the ability to select or deselect landowner names which you have that option on the app uh, just kind of touching base on that real quick the app gives you way more flexibility than the gps with the with the map your phone already has satellite images so you can overlay in images on top of that satellite image so you could overlay um, game unit boundaries overlay private property public land color coding like this you can add the names of the people who own the property you can deselect the names so that's really nice on the app in my opinion and it it's very nice that you have the satellite image you don't have that with this and i'll just kind of show you guys right now so um with the garmin it's actually something that garmin offers and it's called bird's eye view so if you want satellite images on a garmin you have to go into garmin software you have to download uh, an image a satellite image that you want in a certain section it can't be the whole area but it's a certain section of the area so I've selected this game unit that I go and hunt frequently as you can see if I scroll out of that I don't have that satellite image overlay uh, the thing that I don't like about it is I lose all that color coding which is is nice at a glance it's not a huge deal but it's nice to have you can still see here that that's a property boundary that's a property boundary so so in my opinion, do I think Onyx Maps is worth it? Absolutely. Uh, I like the fact that I can easily identify uh, where, you know, where private land in is private land is and where state land is. Uh, you know, that's it's a nice feature to have. It's definitely, you know, um, a gold-plated problem to to not be able to see the color coding, uh, like I would like I like I wish I could, or you know, to to get rid of all these names because I don't let's face it I don't care about that I just I don't care who owns the property I just care about if it's huntable land or not so like I said that the app go download it that you can get a seven day free trial uh, all you got to do is download onyx app you can do it on an iPhone or do it on your your Android uh, my buddy actually has the map version of this he pays 30 bucks annually he has access to all this uh, you know, it, it's very nice. And like I said, it, it has more flexibility than the GPS does. Um, as far as the website goes, 
I think the website could be be improved for sure. So when you buy this, when you buy the chip, it tells you to go here and make sure that you are up to date by you know doing the download to ensure that you have you know the the latest maps. Um, I couldn't figure out how to do that. I couldn't even get the the software downloaded to do that. It kind of explains it right here. Uh, there's a something that you need to download to perform that. I couldn't even get it downloaded, and you know, I you know it's not like I'm technology illiterate or, or computer illiterate. You know, it's it should be fairly simple and user friendly, and and I don't think their website was. So I think I do think that they need some improvements on that, but. Overall, I think the Onyx Maps was a was a good purchase for myself. Uh, I like hunting state land, and again, I, I want to ensure that I'm staying legal during my hunts, and, and this is one way that uh, that helps me to ensure that I am. So, if you guys got any questions, um, leave a comment under the video. I'll do my best to answer it. You know, as always, like, share, subscribe. Let me know how we're doing, how we can improve, and uh, you know, good luck out there. Happy hunting, and this is Michigan Ambush Outdoors signing off. Thanks, guys, girls, and whoever's out there.